You may have seen a few videos or seen me out in the field flying with this satchel on my side. Well, this satchel has been a good friend of mine for the past three years when I'm doing FPV. It gives me the advantages of a long range station with the convenience of just a set of goggles with a built in receiver. And I'd like to show you what's inside my satchel. I actually have two satchel ground stations. This is my left handed ground station. And this is my right handed ground station. You might ask, Alex, why do you have different handedness? Well, it depends on who I'm flying with. I'm, I'm flying with pilots that are running right hand, I'll get less interference if I run left hand. If they're running left hand, then I'll simply run right hand. My left hand station is a little bit more complex, so I'll show that first. The system to the front looks like this. This is a 1.3 gigahertz crosshair, a 2.4 gigahertz crosshair, both left hand, a left handed 5.8 gigahertz pepper box, and a right handed 5.8 gigahertz pepper box. On the back, these are the electronics that make it work. I've got my 1.3 gigahertz receiver here, I've got my 2.4 gigahertz receiver here, and my 5.8 gigahertz receiver right here. This is my power switch. Powering it on, I have a power meter up here on the top that I got from ReadyMade that immediately tells me whether my battery voltage is getting low or if it's acceptable. In addition to that, I also have a voltmeter here if, in case I want to know the exact voltage. The great thing about this is this also is a 5 volt regulator which is powered into my goggles. My goggles here are a pair of Carl Zeiss Cinemizers, the V1s, built into a set of goggles I got from FPV Plastics. Now, one of the great things about this system is inside here on, is a double pull, double throw switch on this side. One side of the switch is the power system, the other side is the video system. So, you'll notice right now I have the 1.3 gigahertz video system powered up, but when I throw the switch, my 2.4 gigahertz system fires up. This is great for when I want to fly with other people, especially if they're on 1.3 while I'm flying 2.4 or vice versa, because it's very simple. If I want to know where they are, I don't have to ask. I simply get my plane and, or helicopter in a good orientation, drop the switch, look at my friend's video feed, and then I immediately know where they are and can go back to my video feed and go meet them for formation, flying or combat, or whatever else we might be doing. On the surface, this might seem relatively complex, but when you get down into it, it's nothing more than three basic stations all on one big backplate. There's really nothing to it. But other than this system, there's more to my satchel than just the goodies that are on this panel. One of the great things about a satchel is not only can I carry this very nice ground station, but I can also carry tools with me to eliminate the need for a toolbox. Also inside are some other goodies. In here is my Spectrum Analyzer, my RF Explorer. If I drop an airplane, I can power this up and go fox hunt it quite easily. Another quick handy tool that I carry with me is a frequency counter. This is the quickest and easiest way to figure out what frequency I'm on with those transmitters with the goofy dip switches. Also in the satchel, attenuators and dummy loads. And you might ask, why do I have these? Well, I go to a lot of fly-ins and a lot of FPV meets. And one thing I like to do is test my system before I'm on the flight line because, well, that's a really bad idea to just power up your system at full power when somebody could be in the air. So by screwing on one of these dummy loads or one of these attenuators, I cut my transmit power down to less than an eighth of a milliwatt. So the signal's only good for about 10 to 15 feet. And thus I won't damage anybody else's video feed when I'm testing my equipment, yet I can test my equipment no problem. My right-handed station is very similar to my left-handed station except, well, it's right-handed and a little bit simpler. Again, Carl Zeiss Cinemizers built into a set of ski goggles. The station, however, well, some of it's a little bit older. Yes, that's an old Revision 2 right-handed 1.3 gigahertz crosshair. It still works just as good as new, it's just old. And well, 
why change what works great? And over here, I have a 2.4 gigahertz crosshair. No 5.8 gigahertz on this system, as at the time I built this, I didn't use 5.8 gigahertz. While these stations are not quite as powerful as the big full diversity, full antenna tracker setup, they're a heck of a lot more convenient. When I want to go fly, it's pretty simple. I turn the unit on, pull out the goggles, throw them on my head, Put the satchel down, and I'm ready for flight. Nice and convenient, but I get the added penetration of a high gain directional antenna so I can see through trees and behind buildings and violate the Fresnel zone with impunity. And the other thing that I sometimes do is I'll sometimes put an earplug in my right ear. Why is this? Well, this becomes an antenna tracker. Because if I can hear the plane well, then that means the plane is in front of the station. I'm listening out this ear. But if I can't hear the plane, that probably means I'm flying behind myself and all I need to do is turn around. In general, I don't do this very often because I typically stand at the corner of my field and my directional antennas pretty well cover the entire field without any problems. And when I fly behind myself, I don't go that far, so I'm really not worried about it too much. So hopefully you learned something from this video and maybe it will inspire you to build your own portable ground station. I'd love to see your creations. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have not done so, please subscribe. It is because of you, my viewers, that I make these videos and I share this technology. I might be crazy and keep them flying.